Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to enable the Park and Activate functionality in the CQG desktop platform. So to start off, we're going to head over to our sidebar on the left-hand corner, and we're going to scroll down to the Preferences tab. Now under the Preferences tab, scroll down until you reach the trading in symbol settings and on the bottom of these settings you'll notice the enable park and activate functionality as well as the show parked orders and hot and split qb ladder now i'm going to activate both of these functionalities and if i head over to my dome chart you'll now notice i have the park button activated so essentially what a park is, is you are placing an order at a delayed time. And if you hit this drop down box here, you'll notice the times you can park your orders by, whether it's by five minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, or you can activate a custom time you would like to park it in. As you can see, I can choose it by hours, minutes, or seconds. So for my first example, I'll be showing a park at five minutes. So if I click the button, my parking function is now activated. And let's say I wanted to place a stop order at 62.17 at a long position, of course. So if I place my stop, as you can see in my confirmation, I am parking a long order. And if I place my order, you can now see in my order widget I have a confirmation that my order has been parked until 1143. Now, once my park has been placed, I have a couple different options here. If I head back over to my orders widget, if you see here on the left hand side of the screen, I can actually cancel my parked order. Simply click on the X and you'll get a confirmation and you can now cancel your order. Now, let's say I put another order in. I'll do the same thing. I'll place a long stop at 62.17 and park it for five minutes. Once again, here I have my confirmation in my orders widget. And this time, let's say I wanted to activate my parked order. I have two buttons up here. I can activate the park or I can park all. So since my order is already parked, if I click activate and hit OK, I'll get a confirmation to activate my parked order. So this essentially eliminates the park and places your order as is. And now you can see I have a working order. So I'll cancel this. So now let's say I place an order in and then I decide at a later time that I would want to park my order for whatever reason. I would first deactivate parking click on the parking button to do this and as you notice it'll turn gray rather than orange if it is activated the button will be orange and to the right of your buy and sell buttons a p will be denoted so if i deactivate it and place a normal order i'll place a long stop at 62.17 and i wanted to change this to a parking order to delay it Go to the top right hand corner and as I noted before the park all button is here. Click on this button and click activate. And now I can choose when I want to park my order. So I can choose to park it in 15 minutes or at the 15 minute mark. So if I click to park and activate in 15 minutes and click OK. I'll get a confirmation to park and activate my order. And as you can see here, now my order widget, my order is parked in 12, till 12 p.m. One final piece of information worth noting here is the functionality in the top right here. If you click on it, you'll notice this is where your parked orders are. This would be the drop down bar right here with the one. And as you can see, I have the information on my parked order. I can activate the order by clicking this drop down arrow here. I have the order size, order price, the type of order. I can open it in a widget or I can cancel it from right here rather than in my order widget. This is just in case you don't have any other widgets open. You can do all the functionalities right here in the dome. So if I wanted to cancel this, I can do so from right here and I will cancel my order. It's worth mentioning that this was the functionality that we activated under the park feature. 
the show parked orders in hot and split QB ladder. And if we deactivate it, you'll notice we can no longer see any of our parked orders. They do not show up here. So I would really suggest act activating that preference. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.